Counter punch. That was the Dallas Morning News headline. Seven months, seven months after Jose Bautista's bat flip during the ALDS last season, Rangers second baseman Rubned Odor decided to get a little revenge and seriously clocked Bautista after he slid hard into Odor's legs mm. in the midst of a double play, and I'm talking clocked. So, gentlemen, are you guys okay with the punch? Skip? By the way, it was a great shot. Great punch. <laughs> enjoyed it just in and of its own self. I enjoyed the that's punch. A, that's, one an of the MMA, that's an MMA punch. Yeah. It looked professional to it me. It did. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have been covering the sport of baseball since the early 70s, and I'm here to tell you there is an outdated, often inexplicable, mind-boggling, old-school code of baseball that sometimes gets violated for reasons I can't quite comprehend. I think it got violated a couple of big times yesterday, but let's go back to the first alleged violation, which was the swing by Bautista that won the playoff series last year against the Texas Rangers. It was a moonshot in Toronto, and he flipped his bat with authority, with conviction, because he was excited over it. And I had absolutely no, no problem with that at that moment because it was such a big moment for the city of Toronto, who is now having another big moment with their their basketball Raptors. team. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I didn't have a problem with it. I don't think you had I a big problem with it. I did absolutely had no problem okay. with and, it. And furthermore, a couple of weeks ago, the commissioner of the sport said he had no real problem with it. He thought that it was probably good for the sport of baseball that he flipped his bat. But apparently, the Rangers waited in the weeds to get even for that as a code violation. But instead of doing it in their first game this year of the seven they've played against the the uh, Toronto, uh, I'll get it right, Blue the Jays. Blue Jays. Toronto Blue Jays. Yeah. Instead of the first game, they wait until Bautista's last at bat yesterday in the final game. Now that's cowardly, as we just heard, and that is gutless. Yes. I, I didn't get that. That that just seemed that's a code violation to, to try to get revenge for a code violation. Mm -hmm. Why would you wait that long? Exactly. Be upfront about it, get it over with fast. I guess you could argue they wanted to play a psychological game and make him think about it and sweat it out over the seven games, wondering when are you going to do it, when are you going to plunk me? And after a while, I'm sure after two games, he probably forgot about it. Right. But in this case, they drilled him. And they brought in a guy who was in prison like three months ago and had just been called up three days ago to the big leagues. And I assume he got ordered to drill him with a 96-mile-an-hour fastball up the into the ribs. Mm -hmm. Okay, it happens all the time. I just thought it was out of bounds to do it at that point. So now Bautista goes to first base, and now the code is going to call for him to seek retribution. And right on schedule, he gets a ground ball to third, which sets Perfect. him up to go in full tilt into second base. New rule this year, which I, I am so thankful for because it was outrageous what used to be allowed in the sport of baseball that you could slide and take a man's legs out from under him, Away even from if the base. he's throwing over here or over here. In, in this case, Odor is, is trying to be protected a little bit by the bag. The throw's a little low, mm -hmm. but he catches the ball, sees Bautista coming at him, and then tries to hit him in the face with the ball. So, so now we got an eye for an eye for an, literally almost for another eye. Yes. Because he was trying to take his eye out with the throw, and the throw careens, you know, curve ball yeah. off and <laughs> down the line, okay? So now, Bautista said after the game, I could have hurt him, but I pulled up. Not sure he pulled up. Yeah, I don't but, believe that. Uh, maybe, maybe he did. It, maybe he, he cut his slide a little bit short and didn't try to take his, you know, stick his legs in the ground right. and actually wreck his knee. Okay, now, what's the next code of ethics that happens? You, you do a lot of posing, you do a lot of flailing, you don't punch each other. Usually, punches just don't land. And all these base brawls that we see, these rhubarbs, these melees on the field, Punches don't land. A lot are sort of flailingly thrown, but it's a lot of posing. It, it's a lot of saber rattling, if you will. Mm -hmm. But in this case, Bautista's going to rattle his sword, but Odor is still so upset because he thinks he's coming for his legs, he's ready to actually fight. Yep. Bautista doesn't even close his fist. If you look at the video, if we can mm -hmm. see it again, he, he doesn't even close his fist. He just kind of raises his right hand. And you can say, boy, you better be ready because you've, okay. The, the code of baseball actually says you don't have to be ready in that situation because nobody's going to actually clock you in the face. 
and Odor shocked him by clocking him. Boom! One Ooh. shot, and to Bautista's credit, he did not go completely down. He lost his sunglasses, he lost his helmet. He, he, he likely lost his... He, 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 he they, wobbled, yeah, he, he wobbled, yeah. okay? But he did not go down to his... I'm giving him credit for that, <laughs> okay? Because I don't think he expected the shot in the jaw. I don't think he was ready for it because he thought it would be a lot of huffing and puffing, but no actual punching. That's just me. Yeah. Your thoughts? I had no problem with Joey Bat's flip. If this had happened in the regular season and he had done that, I get it. But it's a playoff game. It's to win the game. Move to the next round. You get a chance. If you win that series, you go to the World Series. I get it. You say they've played seven times. If you hit Joey Batista in the first game, okay, look, you did this, we didn't like it, boom, I'm done with it. But you wait seven games in. Till his if, final at bat? His last at bat. Okay. And you hit him in the ribs. Okay, now you hit him for something. Now he's like, hold on, wait a minute. I don't really think I did anything wrong. So now he's, he's praying. Man, I sure hope I can get a ground ball. He goes in, he slides. Hey, guy thought it was a dirty slide. When the dude pushes you, he's telling you, I'm upset. Don't walk up on me. I don't care what it, if you look at Odor and you look at the way he swung, he's either used to fighting an awful lot. He might have been. I don't know. Or he, he's taken boxing before. He, he looked like he'd fought before. And, and I'm not just talking one he time. He don't throw that punch no, without no, 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 having exactly. thrown. Exactly. That's not a rookie punch. He, he <laughs> threw it with authority. And, and people are like, well, it's not fair. It's not Hold on, you're fighting. What do you mean it's not fair? When you walk up on me, your emotions are high, my emotions are high. I don't know what you're going to do. Correct. But so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get off first. And then we can decide what's going to happen after that. If he was dazed, Skip. He was dazed. I don't think Joey really wanted to fight. He just wanted, like you said. I don't say, think he wanted to fight. He wanted nope. to huff him. No. Nope. Dude was for nope. real. Dude, no. He was for real. He was Od for real. O Odua was for real. He's sending a message. <laughs> Not only did he try to hit him in the face with the baseball, he's like, I'm going to one-up you. Now, I'm going to push you to let you know I didn't, I didn't take kindly to what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And he walked up on him, Skip. Boom. Skip. And you I'm going to give him credit for taking that punch. You don't get no credit for that, Skip. Well, he, he kept his feet. That's going to be... Most you know, guys go down, man. Guess what? That's the new crying Jordan. That's the new man. That's, that, that, that's it. Prim. That's going to be hard to replace. The yeah, crying Jordan is hard. hard to replace. Hey, that's but, Michael Jordan. But, yeah. But, but guess what? They're going to have Jordan face on that. They might. They, <laughs> so, they so definitely that, will. So for, for, for eternity, for perpetuity, okay. that's what's up there, Skip. You can't look. When, when two people are angry, because Batista's angry because he got hit, or is angry because you slid and tried to take my legs out from me. So now we're both angry. If a guy pushes you, Skip, why are you going to go back at him if you're not going to try to do something? Like Trick Daddy say, run up on me if you want to. Okay, but, but that's, that's in the streets. This is on a baseball No, field. hey, <laughs> hey okay. Skip, Skip, you see the way that dude threw that punch? Okay. That but, dude but got screeded him. It's very unusual, although I must say, in Bob Nightingale's column in USA Today today, he mentioned an incident that happened when Odor was in, in the Class A. I forget where it was, but that, that he slid hard into second base and it started a fight, and he, he took on just about the whole team. And, so I'm assuming and he, this yep, man likes to fight and knows how to fight. If Sports Center was showing it, yeah. he hit like four dudes just they, like he hit. But, okay. He hit, but he like he hit four dudes just like he hit Batista. Well, then he knows what he's doing. So you he know, must have boxed. Hey, so you know what, Batista, when you run up, you put some respect on that man's name. You better know what you. You better put some respect yep. on that man's name. Okay. And just remember, the new rule did apply to this play. Yeah. So. Immediately, Bautista was called out, so the double play got enforced yes. anyway. So, so he was out anyway. You, you got it. But you know what this did? I bet you want another guy slide and try to take Odor out. What you want to bet on that, Skip? Well, it just yeah, keeps no one's going. Mess. I don't I think anyone's going to mess with but, him. But remember, Toronto then immediately took its pound of flesh by hitting Prince Fielder, the next guy up, and he just laughed. So he didn't even want to fight because it's so silly. He just said, okay, that's enough of this. And he walked to first base. What do you think the likelihood of somebody trying to slide and take Odor out moving forward? 
Well, it would have to be <laughs> Blue Jay. You mean a Blue Jay or anybody? 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 Oh, oh, well, just just because of what you just saw. Yes. Oh, well, I think they're gonna walk softly. <laughs> Unless they got Not going to mess with around with that guy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just to clarify, Matt Bush was in prison when that bat flip occurred, but he was released from prison in October. That was last October, so that was seven months ago. I know we mentioned that he was in yeah. prison three months ago. All right, moving right along, talking about the NBA, the Western Conference Finals tips off tonight. Many thought it'd be the Warriors versus the Spurs, but oh no, it's going to be somebody the Dubs versus OKC. No, and only the, Thunder the world. Pull it off. The world. We'll Vegas. find 